Harsha Puppets! It's harsh and more we can learn about the holidays. And we will bring gifts to Jerusalem. Harsh and Puppets! Marsha Puppets Please tell me How I can be a better Jew Welcome to Parshas and More This great Parsha discusses the laws of the Kohenim The holidays and Shabbos offerings to Hashem Called the showbreads. Those were 12 chalas baked before every Shabbos and stacked in two rows in the temple for the Kohanim. In the mystical city of Tzavat in the 1600s, that's 400 years ago, poor Yaakov, the holy butcher, was trying to understand these laws when he was hearing about the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah is a deep mystical teachings, and they were being taught by Rav Yitzhak Luria, otherwise known as the Ari. Some of these Kabbalistic teachings are so complicated. Yaakov ended up getting everything mixed up. Holy Brothers, in Parshas Amor, we learn that the people of Yisrael are called the Chala of the Holy One that's pure. For just like Chala sustains the strength of people on earth, Chala sustains the glory of the blessed God in Shemayim, in heaven. That is why when God created us, it says, Vayatser, with two yuds, hinting at Hashem's presence in Shemaim, in heaven, and in this world. And here, in this parsha, it says, two-tenths of an ephah in each showbread, referring back to those two yuds. So you could say that just like we eat the challah that Hashem gives us, so does Hashem eat the challah of all of our mitzvahs give out. That is so deep. Oi, this hurts my capilla. Oi, what did he say? So, so deep, oh, so deep. Did he say that Hashem eats our challah? Kvart, my wife, she makes a challah, the most young the difficult challah anyone has ever tasted if my brachala made challah especially for Hashem. I am sure that a Kaddish Baruch would bless us with children. Yaakov runs home to tell his wife the good news. Rachel, Rachel, you're not going to believe this. But today, I was listening to the great Kabbalist, the Ari, we're so blessed to live in the same town as this great Kabbalist. And he said that we can bake challah for Hashem. And I know you are the most wonderful baker in the whole spot, at the, the, my good, dearest, dearest wife. Hashem would so love to eat your challah. <laughs> Uh, Yaakov, are you sure you heard right? Because, you know, well, it's true, I haven't been blessed yet with Kinda, and I would do anything for holy Kindalach. Are you sure that's right? I mean, well, I guess it's worth a try. I'm going to go right now and bake some yummy tummy chola for Hashem. Well, well, it's not exactly one chola. The Ari says that the Jews in the desert would bring twelve showbreads to the temple for Hashem. 
12? 12 challahs? What, are you crazy? How am I going to bake 12 challahs? I'm already running around like I'm a sugar to get ready for Shabbos. Well, well, I guess you're just too busy to do things for Hashem. Ay, you're right, Motek. How can I pass up an opportunity to give something back to Borei Olam? So, Rachel baked all night Thursday so that she would have time to prepare for Shabbos on Friday. And when Yaakov woke up early on Friday and saw Rachel's 12 chalas, he was so excited he ran straight to shore with the chalas. That's what I call loading up on carbs. Hashem, Hashem, look what I have for you. We made chalas for you to eat Rabboni Shel Ola, my Rachla, is the best baker in all of Svat. And you love every crumb I should do. Where should I leave this chalas for you? Hmm. If I, if I leave them out, someone's sure to take them. They're so delicious. They smell so wonderful. Maybe even the Shul Maishas Veshalom will take them. Where is the one place that you, Hashem, go that people don't go? I know. I know. Look at the Holy Aram, the Ark. I'll just put the Chava inside the Ark. Hashem will know then that they are just for Him. As soon as he left the chalas in the arum, Yaakov had to run straight to work. It was a very long way to go. But soon after he left, the shamas, the caretaker of the whole shul, walked in to take care of the shul. Good morning, Hashem. I hope I'm kidding. This is no good, no good thing, morning. I volunteer to take care of the shul because I know it's a big mitzvah, but I need guilt. All I do is care for the shul for free. My poor kinderlach are starving. Please, Hashem, hear my prayer. I need a miracle like you made for B'nai Yisrael when you took them out of Egypt, you know. <laughs> huh. Huh. Well, I walked in the shul, but it smells like it smells delicious in here, like up in a bakery. Gavrol, the smell is coming from the ark. I can't believe it. Let me open it. Look at the ark is full of challah. Unbelievable. There are two loaves for Shabbos dinner, two for lunch, two for third milk, one challah for every day of the week. That makes 12 whole challahs. Hashem, you have saved me, Rachmanes, gemacht. You've answered my prayers. Hungry and tired, came into show, looking for a miracle. Prayed to Hashem, opened up the ark, didn't know a miracle would start. Down from Shemayim came Chala, Chala, down came Chala from Hashem. Down from Shemayim came Chala, Chala, down came Chala from Hashem. Hungry and tired, came into Shul, looking for a miracle. Prayed to Hashem, opened up the ark, didn't know a miracle would start. Down from Shemayim came Chala, Chala, down came The next day, Yaakov went to Shul and he waited for the Torah service to find out if Hashem accepted his offering. I finally, they are going to open the ark. Oh, my Kaddish Baruch Hu, all of the challah, look at All of the challah is gone. I don't see a single crumb. Hashem, you 
mamish chod my prayers and accepted our challah offering in Shemayim. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait to go home and tell my bye, but Achel, she'll be so happy. Yaakov, thanks God. I know Shem made me a great bake of a gavot. I didn't know why until this very day. Surely now Hashem will bless us with the holy candlelight. I can't wait to bake challah for Hashem next Shabbos. And the next job is after that. The next week, Rachel baked all night on Thursday. And on Friday morning, Yaakov returned to shul with all of the chalas. Oh, I'm so blessed. How many of you didn't know the secrets of Torah? Like, I know from the Holy Ali. He's the holiest. And to know that you can bake challahs to please Hashem, who knows that? Here you go, Akadosh Baruch We got challahs for you to eat. Just like the naked Israel in the temple. They put challahs in the ark. And that's what I do. Oh, good morning, Hashem. What a good morning. This is... I ate all week long. My family had food and ate with yummy hummus. Those were great hummus. No one has fought things like you, Hashem. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't expect another miracle today. How many miracles can one person get? Give up. Look. Oh. In the ark, I see it again. Hashem, Mechayim, 12 more hummus. Good challah for the whole week. And wouldn't you know it, every week Rachel and Yaakov prepared challahs for Hashem. And every week, the shamas and his family had enough to eat. And sure enough, a miracle. One day, dear Rachel had a baby. Boy, Mazel Tov! And then a baby girl! Mazel Tov! Mazel Tov! Mazel Tov! Mazel Tov! Mazel Tov! Mazel Tov! And two more baby boys! A blessing on your head! Mazel Tov! Mazel Tov! A blessing on my head! Mazel Tov! Mazel Tov! And because she was so grateful year after year, Rachel will bake their chalas every Thursday night. And every Friday morning, Yaakov would put them in the arum. No one ever saw Yaakov loading the arum. And every Friday morning, they didn't see the shamas would take the chalas home to his family. Until one day, Yaakov woke up late. He overslept. Has that ever happened to you? One Friday morning. Oi, why is there? Oi, my gosh, what time is it? I've got to get to shul. Um, Hashem must be so hungry without my chalas for breakfast. When Yaakov got to shul, he saw the shamas looking into the ark. Oh, oh. Where, where's the chalas? Oh, I don't see any chalas. Only Shamus, what are you looking for? Well, every week Hashem gives me twelve of the most delicious chalas for Shamus of the whole week. Hey, what happened here? What are you doing with my chalas? Has Hashem given them to you instead this week? I must have done something wrong. Hashem didn't give me these chalas, my holy Rachel will make them. I bring them to Hashem every Friday to feed Hashem. Uh oh, I think there's been a big mistake. Why, <sighs> when you have been eating the chalas that I've been making for Hashem, that's for Hashem. Just then, the holy Ari walked into the shul. <clears throat> So, uh, let me get this straight. Every Friday, Yaakov, you put Holland in the Aram? 
And every Friday, you, Shabbos, you've been taking them? Oh, Yaakov Nebuch, when I explained years ago that our deeds in this world are like challah offerings to Hashem, I did not mean that you should make challah for Hashem. I meant you should do lots of mitzvahs for Hashem. Mitzvahs for Hashem are like challah for the hungry. Like a mouth, I did it for Well, you know, it's a very big mistake, but Hashem has heard your prayers. Hashem... Hashem heard my prayers, I've had children and seen. Baruch Hashem, Hashem has received your challah every Friday morning. And he blessed you with holy kindalach, and that's Mamish the greatest bracha. And you, Shamus, Hashem heard your prayers too. You were starving. Hashem has given me food and fed my whole family. Exactly. So, Hevray, here's what we're going to do. Yaakov, you and Rachela, you keep making 12 challahs every week for Hashem. And Shamus, you keep feeding these challahs to your family. But Yaakov, I want you to know that by doing something kind for other people, you are really doing this for Hashem. And Shabbos, when you receive these chalas, don't think it's tzedakah from Rachel and Yaakov. Instead, you must know everything in this world we receive is what? Gift from Hashem. Exactly. Well, Parshas Amor shows us that the twelve showbreads in the Holy Temple teach us holy ways to give and to receive. That's why they're called showbreads. They show us how to give and receive. When B'nai Yisrael brought the chalas to the Holy Temple, they were giving it right back to Hashem. And when the Kohenim ate the chala, they were receiving from Hashem in order to give it right back to Hashem. May Hashem bless us that all our mitzvahs should be like these showbreads and show us the true source of all of our blessings and why we're in this whole world doing things for Hashem. Thanks for learning with us the Kapashis and